Good day everyone. So I am Lloyd Interina Agonia from BSENT MR3P1. So today I'm going to show you my PIT project for Robotics 1 which is a robo uh, robotic hexapod. This is the first um, design of my hexapod robot. This is the first generation and you can see I've already um, I've modeled the um, body using a Google SketchUp and then later imported it in the Webot simulation which is the software that I'm using to simulate the robot. Here you can see this is my first attempt on the um, actually animating the robot or app. So I've used a C++ coding as you can see there in the right side panel and the robot itself is not working properly so I had to make a few adjustments to the program to actually um, make the robot walk. So it, that first attempt was not very successful as you can see. It had so many errors and the legs were not acutating as it was supposed to acutate or walk. So here, I finally made the program work. So as you can see, the robot is finally um, walking as I've intended it to walk. It's using a tripod gate as I've mentioned earlier. And it, as you can see, the pattern of the legs that it uses, three legs to move forward, rotate, and backwards. That's why it's called a tripod gate or a triangle gate. And as you can see here, I've made a changes to the robot. The appearance is the first thing you've noticed. And then the actual big changes of this robot was not the appearance but the code. I had to recode everything because the first code that I wrote had a issue with the controls. So I so I didn't want to troubleshoot it again, so I just wrote another um, set of program to better suit these the new functions that I added so that's why as you can see here it has the robot is now had a different body so that's why and it also has a lot of functions now as you can see in the video and then that function would be inherited for the actual robot this is the first generation robot that I built it uses a Bluetooth module to control the robot and I'm just I just programmed the uh, made an app to control the robot so as you can see here it's not that smooth when it comes to its walking I made a few um, iterations so this is the version 2 and then this is the version 3 of the robot this is the time-lapse version of the building the robot so it took me seven hours to build the robot and another three hours to calibrate the robot
This is the first part of the um, robot which is the coxa and it is the inner part of the legs and I only use the servo heads and the screw to attach it to the um, body. Same goes to the femur, I, I only use the um, screw as you can see in the picture in the left side there's a hole that's where I attach the screw to each connect the legs and then the last one is the tibia same goes to the other one and then I just tightened up the screw and tidied up the um, connections this is the connection on each servos to the Arduino Mega so I've numbered them from pin 22 to pin 39 because that's the pins that I use in the Arduino Mega to accutate each servos. modification of the appearance which is now a, it has a head and now and a tail and eyes so that's just for cosmetic it doesn't add to the um, um, program or the robot itself but it's just purely for the looks of the robot and now I'm going to show you a demonstration of the hexapod robot dancing <laughs> 